Jesus Reigns TV. Colonizing, dominating, and impacting nations with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Greetings, greetings, beloved of God. It's great to have this morning today. Welcome to Jesus Reigns TV. Welcome to the ministry of Prophet Yamkela Joseph. It's a wonderful opportunity that we have to talk to you this morning. God is good all the time. We praise the Lord Jesus. Today I'm bringing to you the prayers that we'll be making. I'm making actually an announcement to everyone that is listening this morning. Welcome to everyone in South Africa, in the neighboring countries. In the countries of the world, we welcome everyone who watches Jesus Reigns TV. Today, we are making these announcements. One, the dedication of nations. We will be praying, dedicating the nations to God, the nations of God. Number two, in February the first, 12 days of prayer. February the first, up to the 12th day, it will be 12 days of prayer. We all know the importance of the number 12. Jesus had 12 disciples. There were 12 apostles. And there were 12 nations of Israel. So we'll have this prayer for the 12 days. From 1st February to the 12th of February, the year 2024. Now you've been asked... To send 12 prayer points for this prayer meeting, 12 days. You send your 12 prayer points 
to the apostle. You know the contact details. Send the 12 prayer points. And the apostle, the prophet, promises when he goes to Robben Island, he will take your prayer request with him. In the meantime also, you are also asked to sow a seed in the number of 12 during the prayer meeting. Those seeds should be paid during the 12 days of prayer. They must be paid. Seed in the number of 12. For 12 months of the year, sow your seed. We are going to pray, brethren, beloved of God, we are going to pray for all these items that I've mentioned. Dedication of nations, the 12 days of prayer, your prayer points, and the seed. We are going to pray. Let's get ready for the work of the Lord. We are going to pray making sure that we get the answers from our Lord. God has made it clear to us Jesus said, ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened for you. So as we pray, we must believe that our answers will come forth. Let us pray, asking for God, to be with us. For without him, we are nothing. We need God to lead us. So we are going to pray asking God to be with us. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord, we humble ourselves before you. As we prepare for these 12 days of prayer, as we dedicate the nations to you, O Lord, the creator of heaven and earth, the true and the holy God, we dedicate the nations to you, O Lord. We are praying, humbling ourselves before you, God Almighty and the everlasting God. You are wonderful. We are omnipotent. We are omnipresent. The great God. The I am. Father, we worship you as we pray. We believe that we are God who answers our prayers. God who makes a way when there seems to be no way. God who is able and the God who provides. The God who answers our prayers. Lord, we thank you as we pray. For we know that you will deliver on your promises. Thank you, Holy Spirit, as you will be leading your children, as you will be leading the brethren, wherever they are. We thank you, Holy Spirit, to guide us as we pray, Lord. We need to feel your presence. God Almighty, Father, we thank you, Lord. We give you honor. We give you praise. Lord, we glorify your name. We worship you, Lord. The only God and the living God. And there is no other. There never was and there never will be. Father, we worship you as we pray. As we prepare your children, Lord, for this great assignment. Hallelujah. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Lead us and shepherd us. Guide us. Give us more wisdom. 
Father, we thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you, Lord. We bless your holy name. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, we pray. Amen. Now, I welcome the prophet. It's good to have the prophet with us. To share the mind of God with us. Welcoming the prophet. Prophet Yamgela Joseph. We welcome him to the stage. We welcome him to the podium. The man of God. To share the mind of God with us. Join me in welcoming him. Join me in welcoming the man of God. Thank you all. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Family, the Lord is amazing. The Lord is wonderful. Great to be with you once again. I believe that the God is about to do wonderful things in the world today. And God is ready to change your lives. God is ready to do amazing things. And I believe that as long as you love the Lord, something great, something powerful is awaiting you. The Bible says, no eye have seen, no ear have heard, neither did come to the mind of man what the Lord has prepared for them that love him. Family, if you love God in this season, he has prepared great things for you. If you love God in this season, he is going to do what he said he will do in your life. And I want you to understand that this is only by the beginning of great things for you. This is only by the beginning of amazing things that the Lord is going to do. Hallelujah. So we thank you, Pastor Sklamo, for dedicating and introducing you to the, to the dedication of the nations. I believe that as we speak, the Lord will begin to disciple nations. He will begin to uproot and to plant. The Bible speaks in Jeremiah, the Lord says, I've placed thee upon the nations that thou might uproot and thou might plant, thou might build and thou might destroy. Family, God has given us a responsibility for the nations. He has given us the ability to make sure that the nations are dedicated to him. That the nations are taken from the hand of Satan into the hand of the Lord. Into the hand of the Lord. The devil today is fighting for the world. He is fighting to get a hold of the nations. He is fighting to control the nations of the world. That is why the Bible in the book of Revelation says, Now a sound was heard from heaven, saying, Now the nations of the world belongs to our God, and he is Christ Jesus, and he will reign in them forever. 
It is because there is a war that is constant. There is a war that we are fighting. It is a war for the souls of the nations. It is a war to fight and to make the nations to belong to the Lord. Family, God has asked us to regain territory. That is why the Bible say, and ask of me, I will give you the nations as your inheritance, the uttermost parts of the earth as your possession. God's aim is to give the nations to his beloved. Because when his people are in control of the nations, then God is in control of the nations. But if the nations are controlled by men who has no regard for God, then the nations are deceived. The nations are taken into directions that are rebellious against God. That is why the Apostle Paul said, Now therefore our warfare is not against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities, against rulers of darkness seated in heavenly places. These are spirits that are taking over the nations. These are demonic entities that are having strongholds of every country, strongholds of every region, because they understand that if they get hold of the nations, they will get hold of the world. Family, we can't preach the gospel effectively without discipling these nations, without dedicating these nations to the Lord, because they belong to him. They belong to him. They belong to him. I want you to go to the book of Psalms. I want to prove to you that they belong to him. Psalms 24. These nations, they are of God. The devil did not create the nations. He did not create them. They don't belong to him. They belong to God. Listen to what the Bible says. Psalms 24 verse 1. Is the Lord's and everything in it. The world and all its people belong to Him. The earth is of the Lord and everything that is in it. The world and everything that is in it. Family, we have an evidence from the Word of God. That these nations, they don't belong to governments. These nations, they don't belong to worldwide entities and institutions. These nations, they don't belong to Satan and his demons. But they belong to God. That is why the Bible says, the earth is of the Lord and everything that is in it. South Africa belongs to God. Zambia belongs to God. Madagascar belongs to God. America belongs to God. China belongs to God. Russia belongs to God. There is no nation that is not of the Lord. He created all of them for himself. All of them that were made for his glory. There is no nation that can say it is self-existent. Family, we have evidence in the word of God to push back the workers of darkness. To push back Satan and his demons from taking over the world. To push back the entities of the enemy from taking and gaining territory over the world. That is why the Bible says the righteous shall inherit the land. The righteous have the share of the land. Because the righteous, they are the children of the most high. This is our world because it belongs to our Father. It belongs to our God. That is why we should not be afraid of dedicating these nations. We should not be afraid of telling the world that we know whom this world belongs to. We know it is of our God. Now the nations of the world have become of our God. And he's Christ Jesus. He will reign in them forever. God ought to reign over the nations. Family, we ought to give him his place over the nations of the world. If we don't give him his place, we will be misleading the world. We'll be misleading the nations. Because the nations, they belong to him. They were created by him. 
That's why the Bible says nothing that is made that was made without him. For in the beginning was the word and the word was God. All things were made for him and by him. It is by the power of the word of God that we see what we see today. The word of God brought about the nations that we are seeing. That is why it is very important for you to understand that your country does not belong to your government. You must be bold in knowing that as the church, you are the government of God. You are the inheritor of the earth. You are the possessors of the earth because God has dedicated the nations unto the church. You are owners. You are not the tenants. You are owners of the land. You are owners of the land. That's why the Bible says, if thou willing and obedient, you will eat the fruit of the land. You are the owner of the land. Family, your country is being taken over by Satan. The nations of the world are being taken over by Satan. It is very important that we understand that Satan seeks to capture the nations. Because in capturing the nations, he would make the nations to do his own bidding. But when we know that these nations, they are not belonging to him. They are of God. That is why the Bible says, For you are of God, little children, and you have overcome him. For greater is the one that is in you than he that is in the world. We are of God. We belong to him. We are not of the world. We came from above. We came from God. We rule like him. We walk like him. So when we look at the nations, we speak to them with authority because we know whom we belong. We know whom we belong. So family, right now, wherever you are, I want you to join in prayer. Begin to pray for the nations of the world. Begin to declare the will of God over your nation. Begin to destroy every root of corruption. Every root of manipulation of your leaders. By Satan and Satanic entities. Begin to break covenants of corruption. Begin to break every kind of power that operates in your nation. That seeks to divert the nations against the Lord. Begin to pray right now. Declare that the nations belong to the Lord. Riala brosheka mendere be shakaba aga rekede bre akadia bo shakabaha le bre agodia aglehendi le bre eko zibra agadia le bre ago zekla mandere brosaka riala brosheka ba agadia le bre ega brosida agle mende hazokle kendere bra agadia le bre ega dobra agadia le bre ega zobre agazaka ba agadia le bre ega zolia ba shaka le bre agadia sendele bro oga le bre ega ria these nations they belong to the Lord they belong to the Lord they belong to the oh shakamanda lebre ando brokuda agrehendi zelebro sanga libra mande de broka brekando robra agadia sendi zelebro sida lebre aguba agadia sendi Jiba babo sandere bosaya zelele lele bosaka baha lebre agodi abrehendi ri ala broseka lebre ego zibra adere bosaka baha they belong to the lord they belong to the lord these nations they are of our god we declare right now that they belong to the lord hallelujah Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Your country belongs to God. It does not belong 
to Satan. Does not belong to the World Economic Forum. It does not belong to the United Nations. It does not belong to all the globalists and their agendas. The nations of the world, they belong to the Lord. They are of our God family. We should never be deceived. We should never be confused about it. So as I bring up our nations right now, I want you to know that God is taking your nation to the next level. As we declare 2024 as the year of his faithfulness, his faithfulness over the nations, his truthfulness over the world, a darkness will come, but he will be faithful. He will be great. He will be powerful into rescuing the nations. Now family, as I say the name of your country and the name of the nations of the world, whatever country that it is that you are in, or it's not a, whatever country that I mention, begin to pray for that country. Begin to pray for that nation. As I dedicate the nations of the world, Kalabashaka. Afghanistan, you are blessed. Albania, you are blessed. Algeria, you are blessed. America, American Samoa, you are blessed. Andorra, you are blessed. Angola, you are blessed. Angolia, you are blessed. Antarctica, you are blessed. Antigua and Barbuda, you are blessed. Argentina, you are blessed. Amania, you are blessed. Aruba, you are blessed. Australia, you are blessed. Austria, you are blessed. Azerbaijan, you are blessed. Bahamas, you are blessed. Bahrain, you are blessed. Bangladesh, you are blessed. Barbados, you are blessed. Berales, you are blessed. Belgium, you are blessed. Belize, you are blessed. Benin, you are blessed. Bermuda, you are blessed. Bhutan, you are blessed. Bolivia, you are blessed. Bosnia, you are blessed. And Herzegovina, you are blessed. Botswana, you are blessed. Brazil, you are blessed. Brunei Dar es Salaam, you are blessed. Bulgaria, you are blessed. Burkina Faso, you are blessed. Burundi, you are blessed. Cambodia, you are blessed. Cameroon, you are blessed. Kosha Kabahanda. Chad, you are blessed. Central African Republic, you are blessed. Cape Verde, you are blessed. Canada, you are blessed. Chile, you are blessed. China, you are blessed. Christmas Island, you are blessed. Caucasus Kneeling, you are blessed. Colombia, you are blessed. Comoros, you are blessed. Democratic Republic of Congo, you are blessed. Congo Republic, you are blessed. Cook Islands, you are blessed. Costa Rica, you are blessed. Cote d'Ivoire, you are blessed. Croatia, you are blessed. Cuba, you are blessed. Cyprus, you are blessed. Czech Republic, you are blessed. Denmark, you are blessed. Dibauchi, you are blessed. Dominica, you are blessed. Dominican Republic, you are blessed. East Timor, you are blessed. Ecuador, you are blessed. Egypt, you are blessed. El Salvador, you are blessed. Equatorial Guinea, you are blessed. Etricia, you are blessed. Estonia, you are blessed. Ethiopia, you are blessed. Falkland Island, you are blessed. For Faro Islands, you are blessed. Fiji, you are blessed. Finland, you are blessed. France, you are blessed. French Guinea, you are blessed. French Polynesia, you are blessed. French Southern Territories, you are blessed. Gabon, you are blessed. The Gambia, you are blessed. George, you are blessed. Germany, you are blessed. Ghana, you are blessed. Galbata, you are blessed. Greece, you are blessed. Greenland, you are blessed. Grenada, you are blessed. Godelope, you are blessed. Guam, you are blessed. 
Guatemala, you are blessed. Guinea, you are blessed. Guinea Bissau, you are blessed. Guyana, you are blessed. Haiti, you are blessed. Holy See, you are blessed. Honduras, you are blessed. Hong Kong, you are blessed. Hungary, you are blessed. Iceland, you are blessed. India, you are blessed. Indonesia, you are blessed. Iran, Islamic Republic, you are blessed. Iraq, you are blessed. Ireland, you are blessed. Israel, you are blessed. Italy, you are blessed. Ivory Coast, you are blessed. Jamaica, you are blessed. Japan, you are blessed. Jordan, you are blessed. Kazakhstan, you are blessed. Kenya, you are blessed. Kiribati, you are blessed. Korea, Democratic People's Republic, you are blessed. Korea, Republic of South Korea, you are blessed. Kosovo, you are blessed. Kuwait, you are blessed. Kazakhstan, you are blessed. Lao People's Re Democratic Republic, you are blessed. Lativa, you are blessed. Lebanon, you are blessed. Lesotho, you are blessed. Liberia, you are blessed. Libya, you are blessed. Leicester, you are blessed. Latunia, you are blessed. Luxembourg, you are blessed. Macau, you are blessed. Madagascar, you are blessed. Malawi, you are blessed. Malaysia, you are blessed. Maldives, you are blessed. Mali, you are blessed. Malta, you are blessed. Marshall Islands, you are blessed. Martinique, you are blessed. Mauritania, Mauritania you are blessed. Mauritius, you are blessed. Mayotte, you are blessed. Mexico, you are blessed. Micronesia Federal States, you are blessed. Moldova, you are blessed. Monaco, you are blessed. Mongolia, you are blessed. Montenegro, you are blessed. Monsterstrat, you are blessed. Morocco, you are blessed. Mozambique, you are blessed. Mainama, Puma, you are blessed. Namibia, you are blessed. Nauru, you are blessed. Nepal, you are blessed. Netherlands, you are blessed. Netherlands Antilles, you are blessed. New Caledonia, you are blessed. New Zealand, you are blessed. Nicaragua, you are blessed. Niger, you are blessed. Nigeria, you are blessed. Koshaka. New, you are blessed. North Macedonia, you are blessed. Northern Marania Islands, you are blessed. No way, you are blessed. Oman, you are blessed. Pakistan, you are blessed. Palau, you are blessed. Palestinian territories, you are blessed. Panama, you are blessed. Papua New Guinea, you are blessed. Paraguay, you are blessed. Peru, you are blessed. Philippines, you are blessed. Petit Cain Island, you are blessed. Poland, you are blessed. Portugal, you are blessed. Puerto Rico, you are blessed. Qatar, you are blessed. Reunion Island, you are blessed. Romania, you are blessed. Russia Federation, you are blessed. Rwanda, you are blessed. Saint Kitts and Nevis, you are blessed. Saint Lucia, you are blessed. Saint Vincent and the Grenadines, you are blessed. Samoa, you are blessed. San Marino, you are blessed. Saturn and Princip, you are blessed. Saudi Arabia, you are blessed. Senegal, you are blessed. Sabia, you are blessed. Seychelles, you are blessed. Sierra Leone, you are blessed. Singapore, you are blessed. Slovakia, you are blessed. Slovenia, you are blessed. Solomon Islands, you are blessed. Somalia, you are blessed. South Africa, you are blessed. South Sudan, you are blessed. Spain, you are blessed. Sri Lanka, you are blessed. Sudan, you are blessed. Suriname, you, you are blessed. Swaziland, you are blessed. Sweden, you are blessed. Switzerland, you are blessed. Syria, you are blessed. Taiwan, you are blessed. Kazakhstan, you are blessed. Tanzania, you are blessed. Thailand, you are blessed. Tibet, you are blessed. Timor-Leste, you are blessed. Togo, you are blessed. Tokelau, you are blessed. Tonga, you are blessed. Trinidad and Tobago.
Kubaku, you are blessed Tunisia, you are blessed Turkey, you are blessed Turkmenistan, you are blessed Turks and Cairo's Island, you are blessed Tavalu, you are blessed Uganda, you are blessed Ukraine, you are blessed United Emirate Arabs, you are blessed United Kingdom, you are blessed United States, you are blessed Uruguay, you are blessed Uzbekistan, you are blessed Vanuatu, you are blessed Vatican City State, Holy See, you are blessed Venezuela, you are blessed Vietnam, you are blessed Virgin Islands, you are blessed Virgin Islands in US, you are blessed Wallace and Fatuma Islands, you are blessed Western Sahara, you are blessed Yemen, you are blessed Zambia, you are blessed Zimbabwe, you are blessed. So family, as we dedicate these nations, you ought to understand that we are dedicating them to the Lord. We are telling the Lord that he has a hold over these nations. That these nations, they belong to him. They don't belong to any man. They don't belong to governments. They don't belong to Lucifer. They belong to him. You have to understand that the love of God for the nations of the world is very high. The Lord wants to see the nations dedicated to him. That is why the Bible says, Jesus said, go unto all the world and preach unto all the nations. Because it is in the heart of the Lord to have the nations to himself. Because that's why the Bible says in John number 3, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth might not perish but have everlasting life. It is the love of the world that made him to die in the cross. He loved the nations of the world. So these nations, they don't belong to any kind of entities of Lucifer, the entities of darkness. They don't belong to the New World Order. They don't belong to Satan and his organizations. They don't belong to the United Nations. They don't belong to the World Economic Forum. These nations, they belong to God. So you need to understand that we have a fight for these nations. We must fight for these nations and not allow the devil to take over these nations. Because Satan and his entities seek to make the world their own. But we have to push back. We have to push back. We cannot allow them to take over the world. This world belongs to us because the Lord has said it. That this world is his own. So family, you have to understand that whatever covenant of corruption in your country, whatever covenant of corruption in your nation, you must tell yourself that I'm not going to allow it because I know that the nation does not belong to the government, but it belongs to God. Belongs to the Lord. So right now, they are planning to take over the nations. They are planning to take the nations of the world and to make the nations of the world to be under them. They are trying to make sure that they terrorize mankind. Because these are heartless people. These are entities of darkness. People who have no conscience. They want to destroy the nations of the world. Collapse the economies of the world. Collapse the world as it is. But we will not allow them. We will not allow them to take over these nations. We will not allow them to destroy the world's well-being. We will not allow them. So that is why God has raised you, family. He has raised you in your nation. He has raised you in your country. That you become a standing point. That you become a stumbling block for these people. Because you will not allow them. As you pray, territory is being gained. As you pray, we are winning. As you are praying, a lot is beginning to happen in the realms of the spirit. God is pushing them back. They will not be able to implement their new world order in the world. They will not be able to take over the nations of the world and to enslave the entire human race. They will not be able because we are pushing them back because we know that the world belongs to God. We know that it is not the us. We know it. What they did in 2020 was the last straw. It was the last straw what they did. We have now woken up. We have woken up because we know that this world is of our God. And we will not allow them to repeat another 2020 this year. We will not allow them. 
So I want you to be in very much confidence that God has raised you in your country, in your nation, to become a stumbling block to Lucifer and his plan. So that is why we have to dedicate these nations to God. Because Satan has elected men who fear no God to be part of those who drive the nations of the world into destructions, who drive the nations of the world into collapse, to drive the nations of the world into every kind of evil. You have to know, family, that some of the leaders that you trust, some of the leaders that you have voted for, these are agents of darkness. Their mandate is to destroy the nations of the world on behalf of Lucifer. So that is why you have to pray as you dedicate your nation that God begin to raise godly leaders in your nation. That God begin to raise men and women who fear him and who will not allow the collapse of the world. You have to know that poverty is man-made. Poverty is man-made. God did not create poverty. It is man-made. It is the work of man. It is the work of man. It is Satan using evil people to destroy the world, cause shortages in the world, cause every kind of collapse in the world. Because they thrive in the destruction of men. They thrive in the destruction of mankind. These are evil entities. And we are pushing them back. So wherever you are, I want you right now to begin to pray. I want you to pray and say, Lord, I know that this world belongs to you. I know that these nations, they belong to you. They belong to you. Begin to declare right now. Begin to declare to the Lord that I know that they belong to you. Oh, shaka bahanda rababo shaka. Zele bebebe shaka bababa shaka bahandu.
Oh, Saka Baba Handi, Lebre Agum Brohodea, Libra Andolo Braagaria, Lebre Ega Brosaka, South Africa belongs to you. The nations of the world are yours. Haroka Mahunda La Brosaka, we break their powers, we break the chains of darkness, we destroy and destroy the principalities and powers. We dedicate these nations to you. Asoka Mande, E Saka Mahandi. Lebre ago saka mahunda, siba aga dia bosaka, rela bosaka manda, seka hande re bro honda, hasibre enda la braka, hasoda rabo bosaka ba. You are holy, righteous and worthy. Perfect is your ways. Great I am. We thank you, Holy One of Israel. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for taking over these nations, for they are indeed yours. They are indeed your nations. They are indeed the nation that belongeth to you. We thank you. We declare your wonderful works. You are holy all the time. You are gracious all the time. You are wonderful all the time. And when we declare again and again, we will worship you again and again. We will praise you again and again. And the whole world will know your name. The whole world will know that you are God. And therefore we decree and declare that from South Africa to the ends of the world, we declare that these nations, they are yours. These nations belong to you. And you will take over them. Your will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We decree and declare that the will of the Father, it is established. It is established. Established in our lives, it is established in the world. Karuka Saka, he shall Baba Saka, oh Shaba Bahanda. Now, family, you, you have to know that you are the light of the world. You are a city that is upon a hill. You cannot be hidden. Jesus has made it clear that you have been made the light. You don't look for light because you are the light. You are the light. You are the solution provider. You are the one that brings about solutions to the world. You are the one who looks unto the nations and illuminate them with your light. You don't look up to government. Government looks up to you. You don't look up to the world, but the world looks up to you. Remember, you are not the tail, but you are above. Jesus has said you are the herd. You ought to know who you are. You are a child of the Most High. Wherever that is born of God, overcome the world. The Bible said this is the victory that we have in him, even our faith. Even our faith. By the virtue of our divine birth, we have overcome. He said you have overcome him, little children. For greater is he the one in you than he that is in the world. You need to know that we are bigger than them. We are greater than them. They cannot overcome you because greater is the one that is inside of you than he that is in the world. Now, family, I want you to know that as we dedicate these nations, as we begin the year of 2024, that God is going to take over the nations. God is going to show himself faithful. That those who thought the nations belonged to them will begin to lose control of the world. They will lose control of the world because God will be taking over. God will be raising leaders from every right center. He will begin to be taking over the nations and restoring it back to its own people restoring it back hallelujah so do not be afraid when you see this happening don't be afraid because it is the hand of the lord it is the mighty hand of the father rededicating the nations to himself taking them back with an iron sword he will take them back to himself he will take them back so i want you to continue to pray for the nations of the world wherever you are begin to pray take time to pray for the nations Take time to dedicate the nations. Dedicate your country to God. Pray, pray, and pray, and pray. Family, elections don't change nothing. Elections simply change the same political players who play for the one team, who play for the one owner. But you are the one who make a change. You are the one by your prayers who effectively changing things in the atmosphere. You are changing syllabuses. You are rewriting destinies of nations in the atmosphere. As you pray, things are happening. So I want you to never give up on prayer. Begin to pray for the nations. Begin to dedicate these nations. And as you pray for them, God is making changes. God is raising leaders God is doing amazing things for these nations of the world so right now I want you to be prepared on the 1st of February we're beginning our 12th apostolic days it is gonna be a marvelous time another time to pray once again 12 days consistently as we declare that the world of this year belong to God and as we begin that prayer I want you to understand it is the number 12 that is prophetic number It is the number of the months of the year it is indeed the month the number of the disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ it is indeed the number of the gates of 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 Jerusalem it is the number of the tribes of Israel yet it is still the number of the 12 stones that Elijah took to confirm
Frank Jezebel. Je family, you need to know that the number 12 is a prophetic number. So you will be praying with us in accordance with that number. And I told you that we will be giving, we will be sowing, we will be doing everything in accordance to the number 12. Because each, each seed is for each month. Each prayer is for each month. Each day is for each month. Hallelujah. So we'll be dedicating the whole year in 12 days. And I believe that every time we're praying, each month is being changed. Every time we're praying, each month is being catapulted for your glory, for something new in your life. So I want you to be prepared. And I believe that the best is yet to come for your life. So family, thank you. Thank you once again for watching Jesus Reigns TV. I believe that the Lord is about to do amazing things in your life. And I will see you in Robben Island. Remember I told you that the Lord has sent me to go to Robben Island once again this year. To dedicate the nation of South Africa and to pray and intercede for the nations of the world. And as I go to Robben Island, I've decided that I will take your prayer request together with me to Robben Island. And as I pray for everybody in Robben Island, I want you to know that we are praying and we are pushing back. Remember the last time I was in Robben Island in 2020, the Lord told me the many things that will happen over the world, and we have seen them happening. We have seen them parliament burning. We have seen a lot of things happening in the nation of South Africa and abroad. And I want you to understand that the Lord has sent me specially this time around that to step in Robben Island for the last time before we see the full manifestation of the change. And I want you to understand that do not be worried. The world is going to be dark, but God is going to illuminate the light. God is going to be illuminating the light. So don't be worried. I know that God is in control of the nations. So family, thank you. Thank you. I believe that the best is yet to come. My name is Yamgila Joseph, and may the Lord bless you. Shalom. Shalom. anointed by God for such a time as this, proclaiming the decrees of heaven and announcing the seasons of God among man. A man aligned with the calendar of heaven. A prophet with an attitude of a servant, a father with a heart of son, a voice of prophecy in this generation.